Hello. How are you guys? Happy Friday. Did you like my tie? I put a really nice tie on this morning for you guys. Hi, Kevin. How are you? You know what, guys? I don't know what is going on, but the uh, YouTube Pay membership is very new to me, which is this Friday session for senior level and executive. Uh, mainly because a lot of the question that was asked, you can find on my Tuesday live stream. But for some odd reason, every time when it comes to streaming, I'm actually on a different stream right now. I'm sorry, all you guys, all my other member, please migrate over here. Okay, let's get started. If you guys are here, that means that you've been following me for a while and you are my paid YouTube community Friday. Thank you so much for supporting my work. But for those who are watching right now, I see you. I see the number over there. If you haven't um, already, this is how it works. I generally would answer any questions that you are throwing at me. The more challenging, the better. That's when I have the most fun. Okay. So if we're meeting for the first time, my name is Holly Lee. I am a career coach, actually a recruiter turned career coach. I'm here live streaming twice a week, every Tuesday afternoon every Friday morning. And if you click on the join button, it will convert to your date and time zone. Okay. Generally in these sessions on the Friday specifically, I like to do a lot of tutorials, a lot of review. That's why you keep on coming back. Okay. A lot of people did end up having an offer, not just Amazon, all the Googles, Amazon, Google, and startup, startup, Amazon, Google, you, you guys see where I'm going at. So there's quite a few of them. I have been getting a lot of questions and also a lot of positive vibe, even the, the month of December. Let me explain myself a little bit what that means, okay? I know, I know that many of you are feeling really demotivated because it's end of the year. What on earth happens to 2020? Where has it gone to? I get it. I feel you, okay? I feel you. Here's what I wanted to share with you. I wanted to encourage you to continue pumping and doing the best that you can in networking so that you can land an interview. I don't want to spend my time to talk about networking in this session because this is not the session for, for networking tutorial. It would probably be uh, sometime in January, okay? And if you pay attention to some of the playlists that I have on my YouTube channel, there's so many different playlists that walk you through everything. This specifically right here has every single thing to help you land a job invite, a job interviewed. This right here has every single thing to help you prepare for your interview. And this right here has every single thing for you to, you really just have to look at my template and create your own stories. And then this live stream twice a week, guys, not once, but twice, two hours each. So I can review your star stories with you. So I feel like there's so many, so many, so much materials out there. Um, just to let you guys know, in the month of December, which is, this is this is called slow for me in the month of December because I have a total of seven members in my VIP group that landed an offer. Out of those seven, five of those are at Amazon. The other three, two of those are at Google. One of them is at PayPal, okay? And if you're my VIP member, you know exactly who those individuals are. And out of those, um, how many offers did I say? Seven offers? Yeah, seven offers. One of them was a level seven. Four of them was a level six, okay? In fact, out of all the seven that I've just mentioned, four out of the seven have failed the Amazon uh, uh, interviewed anywhere between two to four times. True story. I'm talking about within one year, okay? I mean, miracle does happen if you do the best that you can. It is very, very disheartening to me. And I just wanted to take a moment for you to, to listen uh, to my preaching and what else I could do to motivate and inspire you to work hard for yourself. That's really it. Um, of my, you know, I actually haven't had my cohort for that long. Um, I started it about seven months ago. And I use Discord as a cohort where my members can collaborate. They can form mock interview groups outside of my uh, my weekly mock interview office hours, as well as daily coaching. There are so much support. Even so, and 85% of my coaching community member, we go through wave every three months, every two and a half, three months, I have a new batch of folks coming in and they're out. 85% of those land an offer from Amazon, Google, even Facebook, PayPal, Oracle, 
all of those on top of like pre-IPO startup, just IPO startup, multiple offer because they are truly killing it, okay? I know that when it comes to networking, no one likes it. I get it. It's not your cup of tea. Hey, it's not it's not a lot of people's cup of tea. It's only my cup of tea because this is what I do for a living, okay? But I'm trying to really get you guys to interview with multiple company and not just one company, all right? Um, and the the 15% of the people who did not end up getting a job offer is because they have lost momentum along the way. And the challenge that I'm having as a coach, as much as I wanted to reach out and help as many people as I can, I've realized now that I can't help those who are just not willing to do the work and really push themselves. And I have, and my members are very well aware that I put 150% of my effort in every single thing that I've done until I, my energy level completely dropped. Not so much often. All right. So just this week alone, and I'm not even talking about the entire month of December, it's still very consistent, guys. If I looked at the people, thank you, by the way, who reach out to me via LinkedIn and personal email, you have landed your, your Amazon. I, I get a lot of Amazon for those who reach out to me. I would say just this week alone, there are eight of you guys and they're all level sixes, all level sixes. Do you guys have any idea how hard it is getting a level six offer at Amazon? That's like a director at Facebook and Google, your scope, okay? Um, that's what I'm trying to tell you. And I hear all kinds of excuses. You know, my my kid is sick and my, my this, my that. I don't have time. I'm busy with a full-time job. I don't have a job. I'm too stressed out to study. Holly, what? I have to be with you for at least two months in order for me to get a job? I'm like, um, yeah, I've been doing this for 21 years. I'm trying to teach you everything in less than three months to get an offer or multiple offer on your hand. And yes, that has worked because 10 of you guys in my coaching community and you know who you are because half of you who's watching right now are already in my community. Some of them have been with me to two weeks to a month and land a job offer because those are the individual who have already been prepping months and months and months prior to them coming to me. Okay. So the preaching has stopped. I just want it. I, I just, I really wanted to, to mention that. And I pour my genuine heart on my sleep for a lot of you guys. And I truly, truly wanted you to do well, but reading all of your messages every evening, shoot, sometimes it demotivated me and I have to bring myself back up because there's just so many excuses where if you don't know, guys, I'm a single mom. I've been a single mom since my son was six months old. Okay. I carry a full-time job while trying to kick off my business. And furthermore, we also went through a flood in February. Does that sound familiar? Right before coronavirus. And we were moving six times in six months. And we just moved back home about a month and a half ago. That's why I'm so passionate. And if you looked at my, my, uh, my live stream, even earlier this year, it was a hot mess. I didn't have a background. I didn't have a camera. I didn't have anything. I didn't even have a real laptop to stream on. I was on my phone, guys. Okay. It was so bad and I did it. Again, repeat after me and please drop it on the comment below. No excuses. No excuses does not work well with me because I've literally went through so much this year. Yes, it may sound like my business is doing very well and it is finally moving along, but it took a really long time and hard work to get here. And the knowledge that I'm presenting you is two decades of experience. So I didn't wake up one day and wanted to be an entrepreneur and business owner. Okay, um, that is it. The preaching has stopped. I uh, hopefully that have motivate you and not demotivate you even more. Thank you for the people who's watching. Please do give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel because when you do, you hit the bell notification and you will get notified when my timer hits, okay? Um, starting 2021 in January, I will start releasing a pre-recording video. You guys are so spoiled. Recording video on top of two live stream for you every single week. I, I actually have a lot of goodies on the agenda where I'm trying to get collaboration who are former uh, uh, leaders 
in a hiring position from top tier companies such as Amazon, Google, and Facebook. Actually, I have some from uh, all of those companies already. I was just waiting for the right time to release, and I wanted to hear more of what my audience are looking for. What did I do? I put out on my community survey and asked what you guys care about. It seems like a lot of you guys do care about collaboration and Q and A. Guys, all of those collaboration are on my Friday session, okay? Because when I bring in a guest to interview them and make it very interesting for you guys, I want you to really ask great questions. Do not ask me what is the process, uh, what is the Amazon process, because all of those you can find in my content already. Because I want my guests to have a great time, so they they can keep on coming back for you guys. Don't you want that? Okay, so if you haven't already, you just have to click the join button to be a paid uh, YouTube member, and that's starting at three ninety nine. It's um, it's more of a donation for my channel. Do however you like. There's three different tiers. Okay, now I would love to answer any questions that you guys have for me. So please, 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 I want to hear no excuses. I want to see all of you know. Oh, sorry, it's allergy. It's all emotional talking to you guys on this. Pre-holiday season. Ooh, allergy kicking in. Hello, Max M Mac uh, Mc Mc McKendra? McKender RP. Thank you so much for the coffee. Hello, hello to you. Kevin, hello. And then who else has given me stuff? Zoe, how are you? How are things going for you, Zoe? Jose, thank you so much for the star. Asish, how are you? Uh, Tilan, Tilan, I think you are new. If you're not, my apologies. I'm trying to remember everyone and all of your fancy nickname, Clift. Always a pleasure seeing you. Okay, are you guys ready for me this morning? Let me know if you are ready for me this morning. And here's the thing, things, guys. I cannot remove your comment. <laughs> you see what I'm saying by practice makes perfect. Let me tell you guys what's going on. Every single live stream that I make, you better bet that I spend at the bare, bare minimum an hour before the actual live stream. That's how long it takes guys to look like this. Okay. My light, my color, what am I going to wear? How is my hair? Well, not so much. How's my hair? I'll just put on a hat or something, but you know, it takes time. And that's why this is just live streaming, guys. But when you're interviewing for a job, you only have one opportunity. You don't want to fail that opportunity because if not, you will have to wait for the following year to re-interview. I would rather the position get filled than for you to take on uh, a job interview that you're not ready for. Okay. I am excited to answer some of your questions. If you are interested, if you haven't already, you want me to take a look at your LinkedIn profile, or if I have already done it, you want me to follow up with you, especially for all of my uh, my pay community member, I would love to do so. Just put it on the bottom and say, please review my LinkedIn profile and just let me know what your first and last name is. I will look it up. You don't have to put the link because I can't click on the link anyway. Um, also, link attracts bots or spammer. I'd rather them not do it. If somebody really want to find your information, everything's on google.com. They can find it, but I just want to make it harder for them to find you, okay? Ahmed, how are you? How's it going? Kevin, where are you watching from? <laughs> Max. Hi, Max. Max says, your name is now a staple in my home. <laughs> my wife and I talk about you like you're a neighbor. That is awesome. I, I'm, I'm beginning to get that. That is awesome. So let me ask you, Max, um, what is it that you and your wife like about my content or my coaching style? And and I'm always uh, looking for room for improvement as well. If you guys feel like you wanted to give me uh, feedback in what type of other contents that I haven't talked about, I feel like I've talked about every single thing about Amazon and using its process for all of the other companies. But I will start talking about Google, Facebook, Apple, and other companies in 2021. Okay. It's just that when the pandemic hit, so many people are applying at Amazon and you guys all naturally came to me. There is absolutely no, no, no pay ads. I haven't paid for any advertising anywhere at all. Um, and somehow along the way, people just start finding me, which I'm very grateful 
By the way, because of all of you, I'm over 13,000 subscriber. And because of you, I was able to create um, perks as a YouTube member, emojis and whatnot, and also being able to monetize my channel to keep it going. Okay. Now I, I do know that some of you find my ads, not my ads specifically, but the ads are on my video, very annoying, but that is the thing that keeps it going. This is a full-time job guys. Okay. All righty. RP, if you have any uh, additional questions, please do drop it on the, the bottom below. Diane, how are you? Diane is amazing. She's my supporter on my Patreon, a VIP member, a community member, my YouTube, my LinkedIn member. She's a member to every single thing. And a lot of you guys are. I am very lucky for Christmas. I'm very grateful. I don't want anything else. The only thing I want from my viewer, I don't care where you're watching me from, what position you're applying to, what company you're applying to, what I want for Christmas and for this holiday, especially the 12 days of Christmas, I want you to invest some time in looking and evaluating your credential and what you wanted to do next with your life. Okay. When you, if you're lost, there's also a video for that as well. It's called defining a clear vision. There's a video for every single thing on my content and you just have to spend the time in looking through them. Creating all of that took me a year and a half guys. And I'm asking you to at least spend an hour to be in the right place so that you can help yourself. That's all I wanted from you. Okay. Amid, Amid, my loop is scheduled for an AWS strategic account manager. To what level shall I prepare technical knowledge? Is there a specific sales process AWS uses? That is an excellent question. I wish my account manager Amazonian is here right now, but I will try to get them on the live show like this. Excuse me. The problem of getting guest speaker who are employees of these top tier company is that everybody has a very strong legal or PR branding team. They don't want their employee to talk about, you know, anything relating to the company. And they're very cautious about that. That's why you haven't seen me done any of that. Okay. Um, I'm really trying to push for it. In fact, I'm trying to see, um, uh, if the top tier companies would like to sponsor me by showing up like this every single week and make it more consistent. So that is my game plan for 2021 for you. Okay. And regarding to account management position, you have to really look at the job description. And I talk about this a lot of time, Amit. Um, I want you to take a look at my Amazon interview tip. It is a live streaming like this on my Tuesday. There's a timestamp on every single thing. And I know I talk about account managers, account executive. It's really the same role for AWS. It seems like AWS is the only org who's hiring a lot of technical account manager and account manager. Recently, I've helped, uh, very recent, uh, as in last month, I've helped three um, L6 senior level technical account manager as well as account manager at Amazon. And if you're a technical account manager or have any technical experiences at all. There are some um, technical questions. They're all in the job description, by the way. If you're interviewing for AWS, for example, uh, it doesn't matter if you're interviewing for business development or sales, whatever position you're, you're interviewing for. The first question I would ask you is, if I'm especially the hiring managers, can you tell me what you know about the AWS? Right? I wanted to see what kind of knowledge and exposure you have when it comes to cloud infrastructure. That's it. You don't have to build the thing, but you have to know what it, what it is about. Does that make sense? Okay. I hope that answers your questions. And the behavioral questions are all the same, guys. And if you're interviewing for account management, I would also, um, of course, what is the what is the most difficult customer that you've had to face? Um, what is the largest amount of budget that you were able to close as a, as an account manager? What is the most strategic plan? that you were able to put together from A through Z. So I would ask you a bunch of those questions, basically related to your background, Amit, and also relating to the role. Again, if I am, I am one of those interviewers at Amazon where I do not look at the interview bank, like tell me about time. No, I don't tell me about the time versus I like to have um, a personalized conversation with my candidate so that you will feel comfortable. And I would just ask you based on your credential and the role. Hello, Talon. I hope you're doing, doing well. No offer yet, but your material is focused and I'm prepared. Oh, thank you. 
Fingers crossed for you. Fingers crossed. Hello, Jose. How are you? Hi, Holly. I just heard today that I'm moving to the Amazon loop already. Day! Yay! Yay! Congratulations for moving this far along. Cliff is a security leader who has a very strong background um, with physical security and has done some amazing job impacting his customers. Fingers crossed for you, my friend. Let me know how it goes. I will see you in the core. Just let me know how it goes. Sultan. Hi, Sultan. How are you? Yes, Talan. Thank you. No excuse. Did you see that, everybody? No. Let me make this big in case anyone missed it and doesn't see it. No excuse, guys. Asako says no excuse. None. That's it? Only two of you guys? Okay, Jose. No excuses. It's very, very important that... You know, when we feel demotivated, I'm just going to leave it up here. I may just leave it up here forever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not. But let me just put it over here for a second. I notice that every time when I'm being most authentic like this, someone's going to give me a thumbs down. I also don't care about that as well because I'm very authentic. I'm sharing everything with you guys from firsthand as a recruiter, as a recruiting leader, and as a trainer, as an interview trainer for Amazon. You know, I've done the same thing for Google and you know, I've managed and mentored teams at Facebook as well. I know what these companies and I know what their bar is. The bar is higher than if you were, if should you be interviewing at startups, okay? Um, that is why when so many of you are reaching out to me, you're reaching out to me for Holly, can you please give me a quickie and you will literally write me an entire page. I mean, full disclosure, it's not that I don't appreciate messages from you guys but if you're writing me a page you know I'm, I cannot read the entire page and respond to you okay because my goal is to make sure that I get back to all of you guys in a timely manner myself and my team we both actually um, actually not we both I have a team that actually now helped me uh, look through a lot of the messages especially if you have filled out my form to apply for my private coaching or any of my coaching services. You cannot even get into my program until you fill out an application because I, the 85% of success rate for my program, you have to be extremely hungry and thirsty. If you are not, I cannot help you. And I'm all about results. I'm very result driven. Okay. Because at the end of the day, I want you to tell your friends, tell your former peers, 90% of, of, of people in the world, okay? And this is statistic every single year since 2016 event. 90% of the people are so miserable at their job, they refuse to interview because they are comfortable. I call that lazy and comfortable and don't want to. That's fine. It's absolutely fine, but don't complain about it. If you know that you've been in a job, let's just say for 10 years and you're scared for any reason you don't want, I get it. That's why you hire a coach, find the right coach for you. Okay. But if you're complaining and making excuses or anything like that, or asking for free things, it's really rare for, for someone, especially a business owner to stop everything they do to help those who's not willing to help themselves. So my style is I, you better bet I've looked at your LinkedIn profile uh, my team and I have done homework about you. We need to make sure that you are truly someone that we could help before we even have you in any of my program. You guys know what I'm talking about. And if you, especially like my VIP group, that that program moved very, very quickly. It's really an office hour. And if you're not serious, in the last seven months I've had my business, I've asked three people, I've actually engaged three of my members and tell them that they're not a good fit. I mean, just like that. Okay. So extremely obsessed. There's really no excuses for anything, none whatsoever. I believe that I've told you guys what to do for free, by the way, for the last year and a half, every single thing on my content is for free. So please do not reach out to me and ask me for more free advice, free, you know, special template. It's all there on the link. And I want to give you the opportunity to dive deep because if I were to give you everything like that, you will not last at any of those companies. I guarantee you. Okay. Bias for action, the ability to think big and be innovative on your own is huge for these tech companies. All right. 
give me a thumbs up and let me know what I just said makes sense. Especially out of your 37 people who's extremely shy in the background. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you're still with me and let me know that you're enjoying yourself. It's important that you're enjoying yourself. How are you, Diane? Diane is extremely motivated, probably the most um, and the very highly ambitious, probably one of the highest ambitious person I've ever met <laughs> so far. <laughs> um, and she's also a mom as well. That's what I'm saying, guys. There's really no excuses. You know, there's there's so many parents, uh, moms, even single moms who's joined my 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 community and just work their tail off. There's a lot of you who simply just watch my my live stream and my free content and 150 of you guys by now land job offers. Asil, hello Asil, how are you? If you're new, please let me know where you're watching from, guys. Thank you so much for the sh uh, the super chat, Amit. Oh, that's nice. I know I get uh, excited for simple little things. Um, Kulandin, Kul Kul hi Kulandin. Kulandin says, Kulandin, you are overdressed for this live stream. Let me make this a little smaller. There you go. Kulandin, Kulandin says, my loop is three leadership principle and two technical. Yep, that sounds about right. For data center, chief engineer is scheduled for December 21st. Wow, right before the holidays. Could you please suggest some strategies uh, pertinent to the role and get through the interview? That's really every single thing in all of my video. It doesn't matter if you're a chief, your entry level, or your campus recruiting. It's really the same. You still have to know all of the behavioral questions. The If you miss the beginning 10 minutes, grow back up in the very beginning. I talk about three of my playlists. You have to look through it. A lot of my playlists have answers and examples to walk you through in how to answer those behavioral questions, how to frame your stories with those leadership principles, and what to focus uh, on, and how long your answer should be. Okay? <laughs> you like my confidence and work? Well, the, the funny thing is I don't have confidence when it comes to live streaming. I'm just pretending, guys. You see what I'm saying? Ooh. It's called live streaming until you make it. <laughs> I am. I'm nervous every single time the camera is on. I just don't like being in front of the camera, but I'm trying. But once the, the camera is on, my comfort zone kicks in. So as you're preparing for your job interview, it's okay to be nervous because you want it. You're nervous because you care, right? I get it. I'm still going through that right now, um, being a content creator on YouTube, right? But the one thing that I never, ever get nervous on is when I coach my group of, I call them students, but really my, my clients, my customer, from the moment that the camera turns on, I'm extremely excited. Um, you know, in fact, the night before group coaching or any kind of coaching for that matter, I can't even sleep. I'm so excited and pumped. So when you're interviewing, <laughs> I know you're not going to get pumped and excited to that degree. That's why I mentioned recording yourself on via Zoom 50 times. It is true, guys, because um, my my I mean, there's so many example, but the the one of my VIP member who failed the most, actually a couple, two of them who fell four times uh, within one year for a level five position. He has been with me for almost three months. He received his L6 offer this week. And when I asked him. I said, how many times did you record it yourself? He said 80. Okay, I'm just going to keep quiet there. And I keep on hounding on you guys. Unless you've done every single thing I've asked of you. If you're telling me that, Holly, I've done this and I've done that. I'm, I'm so demotivated. I didn't get the Amazon offer or the Google offer, whatever offer you're, you're applying to. That is because you did not do every single thing to a T. I know that for a fact. Because... The ones who land an offer at Amazon, guess what? They also have multiple offers somewhere else. And that's very, very common. Okay. Hi, Baroth. How are you, Baroth? Andrea. Andrea? Yes, Andrea. Schedule for my phone interview. By the way, thank you for hanging out with me on Friday. And, 
Oh, Kevin, thank you so much for the, um, for the 1999 super chat. When I'm live streaming for some reason, it, there's a, a very, very long delay that I'm not all seeing there. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm scheduled for my phone interviewed at Amazon for an operation management position next week. It's too late to get it on your specialized training. Well, I have a rule. If you already are scheduled, well, let me ask you this, Andrea, are you ready? Um, because the phone interviewed from the moment you guys, from the moment you start talking to the recruiter, everything's going to be noted in their application tracking system. That is their feedback. Okay. You must know that. So with the, with the hiring manager, they're really trying to see if you have the foundation for the role. If you were to join, if you're not ready, I would rather you postpone until after Christmas holiday. It's up to you. I'm not saying that you have to do it, but I have done this to every single person who walk into my community like you. For all of you who are my community member, can you please say yes, listen to Holly. Just say yes, listen to Holly in the comment below. I've asked every single one of them to do it and they end up not just having one interview, but multiple interview with a lot of the top tier tech company, okay? Because spending the time to get prepared on your storytelling at the bare minimum, you don't have to memorize them, but you just, you just have to, to drag it out. Okay. The decision is yours. If you were to join any of my program right now, um, my VIP has a monthly, has a monthly subscription, which is, you know, you really pay as you go. You can cancel anytime you want to, or the quarterly options. You're more than happy to look at that. The link is in all of my description. Um, and we do office hour mock interview twice a week, every single week on Monday uh, uh, on Monday morning and Wednesday late afternoon Pacific Standard Time. At the bare minimum, you can at least get mock interview that way. Um, and even if you make it through the hiring manager round, I if I were you, I would give yourself three weeks to prep for the final loop. It is very intense. And I've got not just being a trainer at Amazon, but a lot of my, my customer do share this. Okay. It, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of patience. I generally uh, have helped a lot of people who came to me within two weeks or, or a month, they land an offer, but those are the individual who have already prepped for at least three to six months before they came to me. So when they came to me, they basically spent a month with me to review their stories, review the LinkedIn profile and resume. Everything is in my cohort, by the way, and show up for the, the weekly mock interview and they boom, land a job offer just like that. Okay. So if you are that individual and you're highly motivated because we haven't really um, exchanged information yet, then it's yes, then that would be doable. Okay. Max, Max, Max. <laughs> um, Barath says you're amazing and very authentic in your coaching style. Thank you so much for your comments. Not every, it, my style doesn't work with everyone, by the way. Um, I noticed that every time when I mentioned the word, when I'm the more honest I am is when I start having thumbs down. <laughs> if you don't like my content, give me two thumbs down. That means no thumbs. Okay. And then content creator have a rule of thumbs, which is if we don't like what we're watching, we simply just stop watching because when you give someone a thumbs down, it also helps them with their engagement, but you're not attracting the right audience. And, you know, I'm not a cup of tea for anybody, but I am a cup of tea for those who have a significant amount of ambition to learn, uh, to learn, to land the right role. Okay. Um, and that's the audience that I want and that's it. Kevin from Seattle. Awesome talking about Seattle. Let me lower my heat here for a second. Are you from Seattle, Kevin? Ooh, I just lost my audio for a quick second here. I love Seattle. I came from San Francisco, which I love. I love, love, love San Francisco, but the price and the standard of living is so ridiculous where I um, transfer my, my role to a bigger scope within Amazon six, six, seven years ago. I lost count, but, um, after getting adopted to the weather, I love it because Seattle folks know that when the summer comes, when the sun, when the mountain and the water meets in the Puget Sound, it is amazing. feels like you're in paradise. Seattle, but I'm not a Seahawk fan. Just to be clear, you see my 49er guy standing on the bottom? Yes, 
that's the one. Hey, Max. Everything you present is immediately um, applicable. You're specific and it helps tremendous. Yes, I'm very, very specific. Uh, I do wanted to apologize in the beginning first year when I started creating a YouTube channel. I was so nervous. Can you guys tell? <laughs> when I pre-recorded my stuff, even my first Amazon Leadership Principle wiki, I just didn't know how to position myself. And I get a lot of those, you know, Holly, you need to get to the point. I'm like, I can't just get to the point because if I get to the point, most of my audience have no clue what I'm talking about. When it comes to career coaching, you just can't go from zero to 100 degree. Let me give you guys an example. If I were to say, hey, everybody, um, use a star template and here's an example. Go figure it out on your own. You'd be stuck. You don't know how long your answer is supposed to be. You don't know how to frame yourself. Do you even know what it stands for? Right? You guys got the idea. And are your stories tied to the leadership principle? So I feel like I have to create different playlists to explain because there's 14 leadership principle. Amazon has the most LP that I, t I need to talk about. Okay. So that's what I've done. I feel like it doesn't matter what I do. Someone is going to complain about something. <laughs> so now I have finally came to term. Um, I'm just going to be myself and help as many people as I could. That's it. Salton says, I found you to YouTube recommendation and it's a great channel. Oh, that's awesome. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. Salton. Awesome. Kevin says, can you tell me about Facebook interview guide will be happening in 2021? Yes. If you miss my live stream on Tuesday, the Tuesday afternoon, Kevin, um, I actually, one of the Facebook recruiter actually jumped into my live stream. And that's one of my, um, my old recruiter friend that I've known for 12, 13 years. <laughs> We've been through Amazon, Google, and Facebook together. Actually, I was her internal referral for Facebook. Um, she was actually, and my Facebook folks were asking me to start talking about Facebook more. Here's the thing. I only have so much time of the day. I will answer all of your questions in my live stream. But on the pre-recorded section, I will... I have something for Google already and um, Amazon from the hiring leaders that are there. Google, I mean, Google, Facebook is very finicky about putting the content and having guest speaker on there. Um, I will start doing something, uh, something similar for all of the high tech company. So in the first half of 2021, expect all of that to happen. And please do understand these content takes a year to plan it out. <laughs> everything that I talk about in my live stream, all of this, my, my Tuesday live stream, my Friday and the content and the playlist, all of that took a year and a half of planning the seat. Okay. So it will come but for the time being, if you have any questions at all, the Facebook in your process, Facebook, Google, and Amazon look for one similar thing is they want people who are smart. They want people who are smart. They they're looking for good communicator. Okay. Uh, written and verbal on for companies such as Amazon is extreme on communication, especially written and verbal because you're in so many meetings to get uh, so many meetings with so many cross-functional team globally across all the different time zone in the world. But for companies like uh, Facebook specifically, Kevin, they're really interested in learning more about your resume, your background. Okay. That's been my experience there. Um, really your, your background, what you've done, what you've done in your previous, uh, previous experiences, does that correlate to what Facebook is looking for? So that's the Facebook interview. Uh, people are at Facebook are, are smart, especially on the business side. A lot of them came from Amazon, <laughs> more so Amazon than anything else. There's a lot of Amazonian going into Facebook. If you have specific questions and what position you're interviewing for, I'm happy to answer them. Okay, Kevin. And thank you for the super chat. When you guys want to ask me questions, tell me the position title. You don't have to disclose the level or the team. If you do, it's great. So that my answer is very specific towards you. Gabessa. Hey, Holly, I didn't get the job, but HR, you mean the recruiter, did say that my interviewers were impressed with my interview and can see me as an Amazonian. They advised me to wait for a year to get more experiences. Is this good? Well, that means that you are a culture fit, but you don't have all the experience. Um, that also means your, your scope. You need to find a role or to be doing a, a job that has more scope and scale. 
scope and scale, if you don't know what that means, look at my this right here. I talked a lot about that and in every single one of the examples. I gave you an example of what large scale and scope means. Okay, so make sure you check that out. Patricia, hey, oh, you like my shirt. I actually got this shirt a few years ago when I was at Amazon and I made my entire team wear it. I kind of miss, I mean, one of the best team I've ever had was actually at Amazon as well, because as many hours as we worked, we really love hanging out with each other at work and we try to make it fun. So my entire team were putting on things like this and we just have a good time. And I'm also the kind of manager who believe in having happy monthly happy hour for my folks. Amit, thank you so much for the super chat. If you have any more questions, um, please do leave it on the bottom, okay? Oh, by the way, if you're not a paying member, you can leave a comment by super chatting or super sticker. I don't know why super sticker, what that means. Hi, Khan, Kian. Hi, Kian. Good Friday. Are there any words that are considered taboo during the interview in CV? Yes, 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 yes. Should try not to say work like politics. Thanks so much. Of course. Okay. Khan, here's the thing. I talked a lot about this, but you... I don't know which episode because I've talked about so much. I feel I don't spend too much time talking about CV or resume because quite frankly, my passion is to not talk about resume. Um, to me, it's just a little bit very, it's very low level because I've done so much high level leadership, executive coaching and training. And as, as a leader for so long, I talked a lot about that more diving deep in any of my coaching platform. And I do spend a whole lot of time in reviewing with my community member. So some of the things I've told them, and I'm going to tell you the same thing, avoid using the word like expert is a big pet peeve of mine It's a big pet peeve of all recruiters. Okay, I don't know how hiring manager feels. But when we use like, uh, like great, excellent, excellent communicators, expert in, um, in software development lifecycle and um, what, what what are some of my other pet peeves? I should do a video on things to avoid. That's a really good thing, Kian. I will be doing that. Upcoming video, 2021. You don't want to do it. Politics, absolutely. Anything personal, right? Hobbies and interests. I don't want to sound rude and say nobody cares, but no one cares because as they're interviewing you, they have 45 minutes actual interview, right? Not including the small talk or even half an hour. They want to get straight to the point. And they don't want to run out of time. So they're not going to read all of that stuff. They just want to see what is the meat and what is your ROI? What is your achievement? So in order for them to know if you're a great communicator, if you're an expert in certain areas, it is depending on how well you answer in the interview process and you're being evaluated. Okay. That's why we try to be very cautious when we talk about excellent written and verbal communication skill. No, do not say that, you know. Um, and try to, when I, I see the biggest mistake on, on CV and even LinkedIn profile, professional are spending way too much time on explaining the situation instead of just giving it to them. Like starting with your summary, which is tell me about yourself, right? You know, um, in 2015, I've joined here, you know, I, you know, I moved here from da, 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 to H1B. I'm like, no, just get to the point. Let me give you an example. Okay. Um, if I, you know, I haven't worked on my CV, to be honest, for a while, even when I was interviewing at Facebook, I have no CV. It was purely off of my LinkedIn profile. So I haven't had a CV in a while. Um, I would say something like if I'm applying for, let's just say the head of staffing for a company, I would simply just say um, a talent leader, trainer and career coach with over 20 plus years of technical experiences with executive, uh, executive coaching and training. My passion is to help if in this case, if I'm applying for a startup, my verbiage would change. You see, I'm passionate to help startup build and scale the team from scratch in helping execute products and services, being able to influence millions of customers. Um, that's it. That's really it. Short, sweet, to the point. Who are you? Your credibility, which I've mentioned. Who have you helped? Right. And I'm pretty sure I could add a little bit more, but your summary section really shouldn't be more than two sentences. Three is really a lot. You could go three, but I see a lot of people writing five sentences, half a page. 
and I'm not going to read all of it. I'm in recruiting and I will not read it. If you're able to save company XYZ amount of dollar, put it on there. So this is the, these, these are some of the things where I feel that professionals don't know what to put on. So versus looking at an example, by the way, guys, this is not CV examples, but uh, if you do a search on Google, let's just say that I am a program manager. If I put program manager resume, uh, I'm sorry, program manager examples, look at some of the um, example who are that are there and try to get some ideas from them as well. Okay. Peppo. Hey, Peppo. Amazon Music is growing. My job application is still active since September and nobody contacted me. Is that normal? I received two different answers from Amazonians. What do you mean by two different answers? I talked a lot about your application status means nothing because they're busy. Recruiters don't look at job applications. They don't. I, I, I'm, you know, at least a good one doesn't. I train my, my team to not look in every single one versus they're going to search for this for the specific skill set if you don't have the specific skill set on your resume that you apply for that job they will simply just select all and reject because if you think about this way prior to the pandemic when i was recruiting which is probably eight years ago when i was a recruiter seven years eight yeah eight years ago i probably get about 500 new applicants every single day at amazon i'm not gonna look at them I wanted to search for the right one and spend my time hunting people down on LinkedIn. Do you see the power of LinkedIn right here? How powerful LinkedIn is? Go check out that playlist, okay? Don't pay attention to it. Just continue networking with the right individual for the team that you're interested in. That's why. You can certainly apply to job, but I wouldn't apply to a bunch of positions. Um, Peppo said, one say they receive many applications and still searching other position is not open anymore um guys stop paying so much attention to applying for job you need to start networking vamp work love from india <laughs> hello vamp work it's mrs by the way asako asako from tokyo genki esta wadashi wa holidays Mile, hi, Mile. How are you, Mar Mar Marxio? Marxio, how are you? You welcome, Kolanda from Dallas. Sarah, Sarah, good morning to you. Oh, this is Yasmin. Hey, Yasmin. Um, you know, you guys have so many different names, even in my uh my cohort. I I the main one of the primary reason why I used. Uh, Discord as my cohort, where we communicate on a daily ba basis as my coaching cohort is so that people can use nickname. Not everyone is comfortable. I get it. So between my cohort uh, and then uh, my my YouTube community and uh, many other community, uh, Instagram as well, there are so many nicknames. So sometimes I get lost in the weed on who's who. Thanks for coming by, Sarah. And Kevin, uh, Kevin and Amit, let me know if you guys have any more questions, okay? Surrey 2014, good seeing you again. You're welcome, Kevin. <laughs> Jose says, listen to Holly. Listen, people, I'm going to put you right here. Listen to me. Listen to me, okay? Our human being attention spam is about 10 seconds. You guys would agree with me. You put it this way. If you guys are feeling impatient of listening to even me live streaming, imagine yourself interviewing with the interviewer. If you're saying things that they don't like within the first 10 second, 30 second max, you're done. Okay, you are done, which is why your answer should be how long? Put it on the bottom in the, in the comment. Let me know how long your answer should be, everybody. Ang Agnes, hey, Agnes says, listen to Holly. I'm just going to put all my listen listening to Holly up here. Because you really should listen to me. It works. Okay, I'm just going to leave it there. Bear in the wow. Hey, Bear, how are you, Bear? And Sarah, oh, I love it. You guys are listening to me. 
by this time in 2021, you guys are all going to show show me all the one that says listen to Holly and announcing your job offer, okay? By the way, there's actually a lot of people who reach out to me on LinkedIn letting me know their their offers, but they're from all this different time zone and they're unable to make it. And for all of you like 40 something people in the background, can a girl please get a thumbs up in the video? I know you're shy. You don't want to ask me questions. It really helps out my channel. If you can do that, that would be great. As you're giving me more thumbs up, the Google algorithm would actually help promote my content for free. By the way, yes, I'm very authentic and transparent. Okay. That's why I, I love streaming over pre-recorded so I can attract people in real time. I'm a real time kind of gal. Um, Tanya. Hey, Tanya. Get it said. I was told and refrained from using we. Yes, 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 yes. Get it settled. We says, um, I'm told, um, I, this is difficult for someone that tried to pass the credit on a team. There's a way to frame your answer, right? I talked a lot about this in this playlist right here. Get it said. This playlist, this is the Amazon leadership principle questions and answer playlist, as well as this one right here, which is not exactly. <laughs> showing up to my liking at the moment it is somewhere here blocked but yes that is my star interviewed uh playlist okay i have it on both of them so you needed to make sure that you watch it i talked about as a, a people manager or leader where you are you yes you could demonstrate your ability to influence a team but you own this project or basically you own the scope or you own the program and you have uh, directed your team to do this. You see where I'm going? The action I took was I've led my team to. You see what I'm saying? There's no we. I led the team. RP, 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 RP. I aced my interview at Apple and I'm moving to the virtual final uh, panel. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Yay. Yay. Anyone is lucky to have your RP because you cake butt. You are amazing, 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 amazing. Um, for Apple, app, the Apple process and Amazon, it, it there's a lot of similarity because they really love, especially at Apple, I feel like they, they are looking for people who can produce, who are smart. Basically, they want their cake and pie and eat it too. They're looking for smart people who really get the job done. I think you are an excellent fit for an environment like an Apple and an Amazon. There's really nothing more that I could give you, to be honest. But the one thing that I would ask you, RP, and everybody else who's watching, on the bottom of the comment, please drop and let me know how many times have you recorded yourself? How many? Put it on the bottom. How many times have you recorded yourself? If you have done it for 50 times, the job is yours. And I know what you are. I will follow up with you, RP. Hi, Tim. <laughs> I love your content, but yelling yay all, all the time makes me close. So annoying. So offense. <laughs> all righty, Tim. All the time. What is he talking about? I've done it twice in the last hour and a half. Funny man. Bear in the wild. Hey. You welcome, Quan, of course. Reven Ravendra, Ravendra, can you say something about the mock interviewed team ticks? What do you mean mock interview team ticks? Can you be more specific? Are you referring to my mock interview office hour? What are you referring to? If you can please clarify that for me. Okay. And you can also find all of my information on my business site, which is also a link to all of my videos. Hey, Bear in the Wild. Again, will you be reviewing LinkedIn profiles again? I could. I could do it towards the end of this if you want to. Just make sure you drop your real first and last name so I can pull it up for you, okay? Yeah, just drop on the bottom. I'm more than happy to. Um, thought on the fourth degree. I have two year, but also been working in FC for over three years as uh, leadership. You know, it sounds like you have pretty cool experiences. Get it settled. A four-year degree, no, has an even degree, no degree. You know, if you don't have a college degree, 
And if you have a bachelor's degree, you would pretty much immediately be an area manager for the FC or fulfillment center at Amazon or a lot of the company as well. If you don't have a degree, it's relevancy. It's about three plus years. So you still meet the bar. Okay. But if you have real life experience, you could probably be a fit for operation program manager. Operations here, area manager is more of the entry level or junior um, people manager for the FC or the warehouse. Okay. That's a difference between the two. Hey, Tanya. All righty, let's have some fun, shall we? It looks like there's a couple folks who wanted me to, to ooh, I have to like reposition this. Tanya, Tanya, Tanya. Um, I would appreciate profile review. Let me. Tanya, are we connected on LinkedIn? Because let me do this. I'm going to switch screen really quick. Unfortunately, I have to get rid of the yes, listen to Holly, which I really love that, by the way. Amit, let me know if you have any more questions. So as Kevin, if you guys are interested for me to review your profile, you just have to let me know, okay? I'm going to share my screen with you guys right now. And let me hire a lot of my private messages. <laughs> here you go. Like my child says, here you go, here you go. Let's do this. There you go. Much better. Right here. Uh, can you guys see my screen okay? So I am going to look for you. Let me let me have a sip of coffee real quick. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Tanya. Tanya Anderson. Oh, sorry. I guess I need more coffee. Tanya, I'm not sure. Oh, there you are. I'm like, I I think we're connected. If we're not connected on LinkedIn yet, um, I'm sending you a connection. Okay. Shall we start? Program man. If I look at your channel art, I would think that you're in transportation, logistic, or supply chain. That's the uh, impression. This is a good photo. Um, I can tell you did it in front of your car, but the mo most important thing is that your face really popped out, you know, great smile, demonstrating great personality. You don't need to have a wonderful background. You just need to show up ready, okay? And this is a perfect example, Tanya, and thank you for allowing us to look at your LinkedIn profile. You don't have to put a suit or a tie. You just have to not wear a T-shirt, okay? Excellent. Uh, now, I'm being very unbiased. Let's say I know nothing about you or your background, and I'm just a recruiter looking through your profile. So I would reach, I would be interested in learning more about your program and product management background. Um, I can tell that you have some experience in the trans, uh, transportation or transit background. Procurement, all right, cool. So immediately I'm thinking about operation position if I were to be with companies such as Amazon, Okay. Let's take a look at your about me. RTD. Okay, hang on. Ah, oh, you follow instruction to the T. I love this, Tanya. Everybody, check this out. You see that? This is pretty much an, a really something, a little more things are missing. This is perfect. Look at this. Remember what I said about keep it to one to two sentences? I bet you a lot of you guys are scratching your head thinking, what is she talking about? I can't talk about myself in one to two sentences right here. Look how beautiful this is. With 15 years of experience, I've spent the last five years in product program management, launching mobile app, so on and so Beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. Please let that go into your resume as well in your profile summary. This is amazing. You see all of this? You know what I care about? Look at that. Look at all the dollar sign. Now that makes me want to look at it. And the fact that you drop in Uber and Lyft app. Okay. What I would recommend for you to do is have a section called domain expertise. Domain. Okay. Um, your domain expertise, meaning, for example, logistics, operations, transit or transportation, uh, product management, program management, um, product operation management. You see that? Those are all buzzword. That is allowing the recruiter to find you. It's just giving you uh, giving, giving them more opportunity to locate your profile. Okay. 
It's rare, guys. It's very rare that I come across a LinkedIn profile that is so clean, so neat, and well organized. So, domain expertise. And yeah, I would simply just put domain expertise or areas of expertise, one or the other. Okay, you choose and make sure you fill out as much as possible. Go home with it. And when you're filling out, you can use comma if you like. I like to use this. And for the life of me, I can never remember what this is. Can you see this right here? For example, in, in that, I would, let's just say areas, I'm very anal, can you tell, of expertise, right? And on the bottom, you know, the space in the bottom, I would put um, operation, operation, oh, sorry, sorry, logistics. And I will go home with it. I will go on and on and on. And this is going to get the recruiter's attention, okay? Um, I love it. Wow. You are really following. Have you seen my, this playlist? Because I felt like you've seen all of my, my video because you're following it to a T. This is amazing. Look at this because I don't know what RTD is. She gave me a one sentence to explain what, um, what the organization does at a high level. And also your, um, your ROI. But the fact that you have spent five and a half years there, so I would expect you to put more like this is perfect. $2 million project, 200 devices. Good. 3 million customer. Excellent. What about over here? Okay. As a senior product manager, um, if you can, I would probably put, uh, this is good. Give me some more dollar sign. Give me some more things to look at on this side. Okay. The more, the better. Yes, I'm greedy that way. I want to make sure you get found, Tanya. I want to make sure all the top tier companies are reaching out to you for job interview invites. All, not just one. Never put all your eggs in one basket, guys. Okay? X oh, U.S. Air Force. Amazing. Cool. I actually got into the Navy officer training program, by the way, but end up working for Google. Thought I wanted to share that. Amazing veteran. Wow. I'm very impressed, Tanya, with everything that you've done. I can tell that you are a go-getter. Um, you're very hungry. You're very ambitious. I can tell by, by looking at your credential, you basically follow every single thing I've coached my community on. To the T, you remove your year of education to eliminate any biases that is excellent. No, it's good. It's great. It's great. I would just add an areas of expertise or, or domain on here. Thank you. Beautiful. Okay. Let me go back here. I am back guys. Ta-da. Okay. Here you are. Can you guys still hear me? Okay. If you are, can you please give me a thumbs up? Are you still with me? Give me a thumbs up, please. Um, so, uh, get it settled says uh, L six row all. Yes, I would think so. Uh, well with three plus years experience, don't focus so much on the level that you guys are interviewing for, but focus on acing your interview. Okay. Just focus on acing. Amazon is hands down the one company that really evaluate based on how well you articulate your background, your ability to communicate on the right level and your execution determines what level you are, uh, you were in. I've seen uh, L6 usually are five plus years experience, but I've seen a lot of the folks that have four years and they're also level six because their ability to articulate is so clear and they have the, um, the large scale experience that Amazon's looking for. Salton says, any advice when a recruiter goes on a job seeker after five hours of interviewing? Well, I would say that is a poor candidate experience, recruiter. If you're watching me, recruiters, poor, poor experience. By the way, recruiters, I'm going to put a digital products for you to buy and to train you how to treat your candidate with good experience. Even if a candidate doesn't meet the hiring bar, you should always get back to them. Because people spend their time in interviewing with an organization and the least you can do is to get back with your candidates, okay? So Salton, in your case, I will follow up with the recruiters every single week just to, there's no harm in following up with them, okay? You had already spent your time in interviewing with, with 
I don't, I'm not sure what company you're referring to. Don't be afraid to follow up with them. And don't be afraid to network with the folks who interview you, interview you as well. Yes. Thank you, Talon. Yes. You guys are listening to me. It should be a minute or less. That is your star stories. I'm going to leave it up here. A minute or less. Okay. Srujan. Hey, hey, Srujan. Robert, how are you? Love for you. Love for you. I've known Robert for about 18 years. I want to say 18 years now, 20 years, a long time. Con, 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 hi, Con. By the way, just a heads up for everybody when you're communicating or reaching out via message of anything any kind of communication, unless you have worked with the individual before, like in the same team or the same company, don't refer them with their last name. Maybe that's an American thing. Um, but we don't, I get called Lee a lot versus Holly. Um, you know, in a sales environment, after you have worked with someone, they, I, I, I call my, my peers, you know, Hey Smith, what's going on? Right. But it takes time to build that trust and that credibility and that comfort zone. But when you don't know someone, call, always call them on their first name. Just like when a recruiter reach out to you and you call them by their last name, they probably will not respond to you. Just a heads up. I'm not being rude. I'm trying to coach you guys. Okay. I get a lot of that. Uh, that, that, yay. Sari says, I recorded myself 20 times for per leadership principle. Excellent. Vish. How are you, Vish? Vish says. Well, let's see what Vish says. I have a phone screen with the recruiter for associates, analytics, media program manager. How should I prepare for it? Should I expect technical questions? Well, you need to look at the job description and see what it calls for because every team is different. Even though the role is non-tech, you may be required to know like SQLs and databases, tools that you use, what program or software, okay? So everything should be on there. And basically everything that I talked about um, in there, but 80% of them are your behavioral questions. And I talk a lot about this list right here for you, Vish. Okay. <laughs> Bear Noel says, I love the yay. This is heart process and thought on people. And we need to clear each other on. Yes. The thing is guys, it doesn't matter what I do. Someone's going to love it and someone's going to hate it. There's no, there's no win-win because my audience as people, you know, were very diverse and people are very judgmental. It doesn't work with everyone. Like I said, my style doesn't work with everyone. There's a lot of content creators that cut everything and just go with the content in and out. But I like to do live stream because I like the real time engagement and I love, love, love the real time feedback that I'm giving you versus pre-recorded things. Okay. Um, there's also a lot of creator who just direct you back into the video. So everyone has a different style. Mine is I'm not going to stop doing something just because one person doesn't like it. Um, because I get bored, honestly, I get bored doing the same thing over and over again. As you can tell, I add the little uh, red frame around. I need to do things different because if not, I can't be showing up for years and years and years to do the same thing. Right. Uh, and that's very Amazonian. If something works perfect, break them and start all over again. Um, and you know what? I'm trying to find a um, a sound that says job offer or congratulations. I'm still looking for the right tone. I just don't like to record my own tone. Ravindra. Hey, Ravindra. Christian. Hey, Christian. Christian says, I had an L6 senior UX design phone interview, had a few pauses and not always a perfect example of the situation they asked for. They kept going more and more details, no generic questions, all specific. Well, yes, that's not, that's not just Amazon. That's any company. They want specific, right? Put yourself as a hiring manager or, or just, just an interviewer. Would you like it if someone give you generic answer that you don't, you're not really sure what exactly they have built in this case, as a designer, you have to give an example of how you're able to build um, a project from the beginning to end. Or what is the most complex thing you're able to solve? When we give very high level, like the cow run over the moon, people will fall asleep because they don't know what you're able to accomplish without specific detail. 
Okay. Amazon is extreme, extreme specific. Can we put on the comment below? Everybody say after me, specific example, specific. Okay. All righty. And Donsky. Hey, Donsky. I like your anime. Umar would like me to reveal his LinkedIn profile. Okay, Umar. Let's do this then. Let me go back to here very, very quickly. And let's do this. Umar. There you are. I love the fact that Umar, you're so consistent with your, um, with your photo. I can find you right away. It's just a pet piece of mine. Can you please put a uh, channel art there? I mean, to me, I like to see people put effort on their LinkedIn. If they're not, then they're probably not going to do a good job in the actual job. Um, that's just the authentic version of me. You know, just be clean, be organized and show that you are willing to put in the work. I love the LinkedIn profile. Black and white is fine. Um, software engineer is great, but software engineer of what? What languages are you uh, proficient in? I would put that down as well. And everything, if you if you could rewind up about uh, 15 minutes ago when I was reviewing Tanya's LinkedIn profile, every single thing I've said on her profile that you need on here. Okay. In your case, I would love to know what is your, what is your technical skills? I would put all of your tech. This to me is just, um, it just doesn't really say a whole lot. Okay. I would, I would read, I would listen to what I mentioned about Tanya on the one to two sentences, because this doesn't really say a whole lot of what you can do. Because a lot of people say that I'm a full stack engineer, I'm a back end engineer, I can code and all this stuff. But from the moment I get on the phone with them, for software engineer, I would basically ask them, can you please walk me through a product where you have built from beginning to end? And by the way, what coding languages did you use? And they froze. Um, and the first and this is very common, 80% of them basically say, Oh, Holly, actually, I I am, I have knowledge in Java. I don't code in Java, so they can't code. Right. Or by the way, they're explaining things to me. So they're not a full stack engineer. They're just HTML or JavaScript. Right. So it really depends. So an interviewer, a good interviewer will really call you out on your background. So you want to make it very clear, help the recruiter to hand your credential to the hiring manager by giving me more meat. Technical skills need to be there. Fill up more information. This is too plain. The about me is too plain for me. Um, Coder LLC. I don't know what the company is. The fact that you spent over a year there, I would, um, I would expect a sentence exactly what I've said to Tanya's LinkedIn profile a second ago. Tell me what this company is about and what you have done. I like this. You've done a good job here. Improve site by fifteen percent through stability. Perfect. That's awesome. Uh, revenue ten percent. Okay. Orchestrate large scale backend dojo code. Okay. Well, this is your uh, dojo code, dojo, backend, Python. All of that are your technical skill that needs to go in your about section. Not like this. Okay. Make it, make it prettier, please. Dun, 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 dun. Utilize. Okay, good, good. This is actually good information over here. All right. Self-employed. Okay. Oversaw for yourself employed because you have been here for nearly four years. Um, I would focus, I would work a little bit closer on your business impact, Omar. Okay. For example, work with clients to build mockups into website using this and this resulting in what, what is the ROI? Um, architect maintain durability, Python servers, so on and so forth. How, how what was the percentage of e efficiency you were able to save the organization? You see where I'm going and you need to look at this right here. Um, if you look at this, it says LinkedIn profile for job seeker, how to connect with recruiters, how to network, even to how to create, uh, sorry, I can't talk how to create a professional LinkedIn profile. 
You have to look at that because I explained every single thing to a T. Okay. All righty. Any question? Let me go through any more and I will close off for LinkedIn review. I'm just skimming through, making sure if there's another one. Okay. So this is going to be uh, one more. I'm just going to do one more LinkedIn review for today. And another one would be Raj Ravindra. I hope that is your real name on here. Ravindra. I'm not sure if this is you or not. Can you please verify? So if it isn't, then somebody by this name is going to get a free LinkedIn profile with you. Okay. Another tech guy. I love it. I can talk tech all day long, guys. All day long, every day. I love it. You see how Rajendra uh, put down data structure accurate? Yes, I love this. Problem solving, get rid of it. Because if you're an engineer, you're already solving problem. It's soft skill. Get rid of the soft skill. Everything you have on your headline are the reason that someone wants to talk to you and interview you, okay? I would put down here software engineer or senior software engineer. I would put senior software engin engineer. That's the first thing. Remove that part. The exact same feedback that I have given our friend a second ago, and you need to work the power of LinkedIn playlists. Okay, you you guys are undershorting yourself. Having more than nine years, okay, this is, no, this is your about me. And it's very soft. I would spend more time in making it more, how do you deliver result and who did you deliver result for? Also take a look at my, um, my 60 second elevator pitch because my 60 second elevator pitch video has a template. It's free. All you have to do is take a screenshot. Okay, that's it, screenshot. Print, print screenshot on your keyboard and it's yours to keep. Okay. And I'm actually teaching you how to do this very quickly. Um, I can't really review your LinkedIn profile without anything to review on. It is empty, my friend. Okay. So I want you to put some effort on here. So I'm not telling you exactly what to do and doing it for you. I would rather my students show me what you can do first so that I can come in and help you make it perfect. If you show up, um, by the way, I've mentioned this before. Um, starting January 1st, as soon as the buck is out of my live streaming system, the Friday session, it's all tutorial like this and reviewing your story and guest speaker and so on. You have to be a pay YouTube member in order for me, in order for you to comment, you can watch, you can absolutely watch, but for you to comment, you have to be a pay member. Okay. Starting at $3.99 expensive, right? Okay. That is all I have right now. Um, if you want me to re review your LinkedIn profile, you guys have to give me some meat, okay? I can't do no meat because I don't want to spend an hour in telling you what to do in doing it. I'd rather help you knowing that you are, I need to see effort into it. All righty then, let me go back to this. Here you are, here you are. All right. Perfect audio, a little too close to the mic, a little loud. Oh, okay. I know I can never tell because sometimes I'm too close and sometimes I'm just too far. Is that better? Yes. Do give me feedback. When you give me feedback, that's how I know how to adjust. You welcome, Tanya. Our Aranza, Aranza, I love your streaming. Thanks for the tips and content. You're welcome. Today, my on-site. Oop, let me remove this onsite for digital marketing uh, specialist position already prepared with all your tips oh good luck best of luck to you I, I hope that you guys um, can can take the review that I've done especially for Tanya do you see the difference do you see how excited I am I am I was when I was reviewing Tanya's let me put Tanya's name on here. You are in my hall of frame, Tanya. I was so excited when I was reviewing Tanya's LinkedIn profile because this woman, I can tell, put a lot of thought into her LinkedIn profile. I can tell that she thought about every work she puts in. Why? Because they're so concise, they're so clean, they're easy to read, and I want to read it. So, you know, 
there's just, there's a lot of coach who actually write it for you. I'm one of those coach that I would never write anything for you because I want to see you put in the effort. Um, the reason being is that if I do it for you, you won't be able to, to make it with any employer because when you work with top tier employer, you have to do everything on your own. No one is even going to tell you what your scope is. You will eventually figure out what your scope is. Okay. I, I hope that makes sense for a lot of you. Um, V Vidita, Vidita, hey Vidita. Vidita says, my chat screen is all wacko. Vidita says, risk manager L5, your technique works. I escalated for head of position. Today is my first conversation with the recruiter. How should my approach be? Be yourself and be prepared. It's every single thing I just talked about. You need to scroll up if you've joined late. Okay. Delari, hey Delari, I passed my loop interview for oh for principal SA. You got an offer. <laughs> I don't care if you don't like my yay button. This deserves two yay. <laughs> Guys, to get any position as a principal is extremely hard at Amazon. A principal solution architect or generally someone who has done the exact same job with the ripe scope for at least bare minimum eight to 10 years. Even those who have 30 years of experience don't even make it as a level five solution architect. That's true. So Delari, congratulations. You have done a really phenomenal job. Wow. I'm very happy for you. A principal at an Amazon is relevant to a director at a Facebook and Google. Keep that in mind. Okay. The scope and scale, it will be day one every single day. And you are going to be able to build amazing products, amazing services that is going to influence all of us who's watching right now, because I'm pretty sure we shop on amazon.com or use one of their platforms and services and whatnot. Congratulations. I'm very happy for you. Um, can you please remind me and send me a message on LinkedIn? so that you can join my private Facebook group. And that's for all of those who landed a job offer at Amazon. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Bear, I realized I was giving too much info trying to explain the situation. That's true, Bear. That's why um, I'm not even going to call you Bear in the wild anymore. I'm just going to call you Bear. Okay. Um, it's true. If you, if you talk too much, I know that bar racer have given advices to their friends who are my clients, by the way, to keep their answer to like about three to five minutes. People will fall asleep guys. I'm going to tell you guys this right now. I'm sure I don't have to demonstrate the example that I just uh, gave you guys earlier, which is 30 seconds. 30 seconds sounds very long. If it's not relevant or you're not interested in what the candidate have to say. Okay. So you have to be, be very mindful as you are doing that. Let me switch my screen. Sorry, guys. Give me one quick second. Okay. There you go. Um, I would say keep it under a minute. It doesn't matter. You know, the thing about bar racer is that they have gone through two weeks of intensive training. They are very good in interviewing you. But when it comes to even bar racer themselves being interviewed, I have helped three BR land a job offer recently, okay, in 2020. And they are at Amazon right now. And those are the bar racer who's been at Amazon for um, nearly a decade, okay? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, even, you know, be, being an interviewer and being interviewed are not the same thing, okay? Just because one is great in interviewing doesn't mean that they know how to give tip in prepping for an interview. It has to be, it, it requires a lot of time on investment in coaching and learning, just like how like recruiting leaders like myself doesn't make a great career coach. Okay. It is a passion. You have to really want to do it and being able to dive really deep in knowing what your customer is looking for. If I have, that's why I don't even do consultation calls anymore. I haven't Actually, I haven't done consultation calls at all because if I looked at your LinkedIn profile, I can I have you figure out, okay? Um, if you come into my VIP uh, coaching, which is my office hour or my star interview accelerator, by the way, the new class will start on January 11th. Um, reach out to me if you're interested because I'm only accepting 10 students for that course. More attention on you, right? 
even so, even within the first one minute, you and I exchange conversation in the uh, group coaching setting. I have you figure out, I know what you need and where you need it to go. Okay. So for bar raiser, when they have a conversation with you or anyone who are an expert in interviewing you, not everyone can figure out. They have to be very obsessed in interviewing. I think it's a, it's a different sets of skills and talent. Um, I had, I had a phenomenal coach when I got certified to be a coach. I don't need to get certified. I just want to, to see if I'm missing something. I'm kind of glad I did because through that program, I realized that I am really passionate in not just helping people, but in this topic, this is my goal. This is what I wanted to do. Okay. And even thinking back in high school, I like signed myself up for every opportunity I have in interviewing competition national. And I got second place. That's how obsessed I am. So there are a lot of really great interviewer uh, interview. Uh, I can't talk. There's a lot of great recruiters out there um, that I've known of and even recruiting leaders, but they can, of course, coach you, but do they want to? Okay. Because it is a whole different skill. Career coach and recruiter are not the same language. Career coach and hiring manager are still not the same language. It's a combination of being a, um, having some sort of recruiting background that's very diverse with tech, non-tech, even with tech alone. There's a, tech alone. It's a, a lot of different languages, right? We're talking about from software engineer to designers to technical program manager to engineering leader to hardware software embedded. Software alone has so many different categories. You see where I'm going? So it's very, very different. Um, I just, I read so many of your messages where you're trying to argue with me over LinkedIn message. I'm like, I didn't respond to all of you. Um, because when you come to me and you're trying to change my mind, my mind is not changed because I've helped nearly 200 people now in 2020 from the starting of pandemic, all land job with all of the top tier company and not just Amazon. And it has worked. And everyone on here who mentioned star, they do. They use the star method. I don't know how other people use star method for me, 45 second, preferably 30 second if you can. And yes, that's possible. And you're going to get the job and follow every single thing to the T. Okay. Uh, Holly, uh, uh, Holly, the LinkedIn page seems a little cut off the, uh, Oh, you mean when I was, uh, broadcasting? Oh, I see what you're saying. It's a little bit late right now, but if you look at my, uh, live stream from last Friday, it has a whole thing as well. Okay. Don't worry. There's always an answer somewhere for you. Con, I don't have the bandwidth to review your LinkedIn profile. Um, you would need to come back next Friday and you will have to become a YouTube member as well. Okay. I'm going to pick on someone new that I don't know of. Um, and if I haven't had the chance to review your LinkedIn profile, please come back next week so that I can do it. I can only do so many, a handful, and also answer your question at the same time. Hey, Bert. Oh, you have a verbal offer. Yay. <laughs> Congratulations. Star, star, star. Ah, look at him. He's a star. I'm going to leave you up here on top of my head. That's a star, 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 and star. Okay? Just because... I am such a big fan of star. I'm a big fan of star by getting to the point and be very concise, not just talk about star. Okay. I'm going to leave you up here for a second as I'm trying to wrap things up. La la la. Can you tell me more about VIP course? Sure. Okay. This is the last question. That's what you meant. Okay. Um, R Ravindra says, can you tell me more about the VIP course? The VIP course is made for individual. Let me tell you the difference between VIP and star interviewed. So it makes more sense. Okay. Let's start with the, um, let's start with the, the star interview accelerator, which is an eight weeks program, which I'm only, uh, taking a handful of people. The star interview accelerator are built for those who are completely lost, cannot even think about their story, who thinks that they don't have relevant story, who don't know if they have relevant story, um, 
who needs handholding. Basically, you need a lot of guidance. So what that means is that you have access to my my course, my online course that's very short to the point. It has example, it has everything you need. Like I mentioned, handholding. Okay, and then you come into my cohort every single day. It's back and forth Q and A where I will review your branding your stories and everything, and you show up to our weekly Monday morning uh, mock interview, okay? That's what the Star Interview Accelerator is for. Um, very centralized and very focused. The difference between that and a VIP, there's two options. There's VIP monthly office hour for those who are um, extremely amb ambitious. Generally, they have about 10 plus years experience. All of them do, by the way. All of my, my VIP have 10 to 30 years experience and, and executive as well where they just need help with reviewing their story and mock interview because I do have mock interview for VIP member twice a week, every single week. That's a difference between the two. Now, a lot of my members in the Star Interview Accelerator, should they need more than two months with me? Because the time that they come to me, they don't have an Amazon interview. We will get them an Amazon interview and they will be in the loop through the two months duration. Let's just say that the on-site or final loop hasn't happened yet and they wanted to extend their office hour with me. That's when they go to the monthly VIP member. That's a, that's a difference between the two. The VIP also has a quarterly option, which is discounted, of course, for you. And for the ones who are with three months uh, um, quarterly option, you do get offset. Uh, I can't talk. You do get access as my holiday present to you. Um, if you purchase in the month of December, you will get free access to my Star Accelerator interview course. That's the digital course alone that's worth about thousand dollars okay that is my gift to you but um so very very importantly for any of my services especially vip i have to look at your linkedin profile in both of my services but specifically the vip i need to know i can tell by looking at your credential have you done the work and i've just shown you a couple example right when i look at tanya i'm like wow absolutely i want to help this person because she's ready to go. She's ready to roll. She's, you know, her LinkedIn profile is, it's 90% perfect. I want to help this person land a job. So that's a feeling that I wanted to get. Your LinkedIn profile doesn't have to be perfect, but I need to know that you know what your strength is and what your achievement is. If your LinkedIn profile is completely empty, then 90% of the time I would not have you in my VIP. I'm only taking clients who are ready to do the hard work. If you are not ready to, if you don't do the hard work, even like your, your branding is a number one thing. When people fail their job interviewed, I feel like I'm getting loud. Sorry guys. When people fail the job interview, the number one thing is your branding. The number two thing is because you're not willing to invest the time in prepping for it. Okay, I have so many people who reach out to me and ask me to do pro bono free stuff. But guys, I have been doing it. I by, by the way, that has stopped now. I've been doing it for my entire life, my entire career, right? Even as a business owner, even before I even made a single dollar, I was offering because I, I feel you. Okay, I, I was fortunate enough to gain a lot of these important skills with the companies I was with. And I'm trying to share. You see the live stream? It's free. I have been doing it. Um, it's going to be free until probably my, my Tuesday stream is going to be free for the next two years until the pandemic is completely over. And both of my, uh, my, my live coaching, my Tuesday and Friday will be pay member only. I'm talking about $3.99. Okay. I'm not talking about hundred dollars. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Um, that's a difference. VIP member are so dead serious all day long. I have so many people who came to me with fail Amazon interviewed, but they, the attitude is when they come to me, Holly, tell me what I need to do. Where do I start? So their bias for action is so quick. That's VIP. Okay. I don't need to hold them accountable. If I have to hold your hand and hold you accountable, then you're not the customer for me. All right. Thank you so much, everybody for your time. Hopefully you enjoy your Friday. There's still a lot of you who's watching. If you have forgotten to give me a thumbs up in my YouTube video, help a girl out so that my channel can, 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 can talk. continue, Holly Talk, continue growing for you. I will see all of you guys on Tuesday for my YouTube community. Have a fabulous weekend and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.